Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard and this is our chapter called Going Off-Grid. There's an increasing selection of off-grid electrical systems and equipment available in Alberta. There are more and better ways to conserve energy in your home. If you want to become your own power company, these are just a few of the things you'll need to learn about. Fortunately, there's also a growing number of local experts to help you. When we come in there, we find out what their energy needs are and how much power are they going to need. Um, that'll decide what size of battery bank they're going to need, decide what kind of inverter they're going to need. Are they going to want to run a toaster? Are they going to run a microwave? Are they going to run a stove? How many lights are they going to need? Are they going to want to run a computer? A system can be strictly grid-tied, off-grid, or as is increasingly popular, grid-tied with a battery bank for backup power supply. If they're looking at two or three days being off-grid, the battery bank being built up enough to handle their fridges and deep freezes and a water system so they can have water, heat and food. Additional power sources such as solar, wind and small-scale hydro can be added. Now the solar panels will keep the batteries charged up full time and when they're on float now the excess will go to the grid. When we get the net metering going then they can get an income from the power company. Guy helps his customers save thousands of dollars by first investing in energy efficiency. When you want to go off grid you have to watch your power consumption because you only have so much. Originally this last customer here was started out at using 19 kilowatts of power a day. We figured they could come down to 7 kilowatts a day and then that way their battery bank is good for four days of autonomy which is four days of power with no sunlight coming in and no wind. They're still using 11 to 12 kilowatts a day but they're learning that it doesn't last as long. Guy helps his clients determine the best ways to harness nature's perpetual energy. With solar it's all about the angle. We'll go and take a look outside and see whether or not they'll have to put a system up on a tracker pole or if they can put the system up on a roof or if they want to put the system up just on a frame. With wind, as with water, there's either significant energy potential or not. You put up an anemometer up for a year at a 60 foot height or whatever and see how much power is produced at that height. Guy is excited about the prospects for his growing industry. My two oldest boys are also electricians and eventually it would be nice to have family business running, installing solar and wind. Join us again for more stories about Albertans who are learning, adapting, researching, enterprising and working towards a sustainable new energy future. This episode of Made in Alberta was sponsored by Millennium Power. Visit them online for information on renewable energy products and services available in Alberta. That's www.solarguy.ca.